Good morning everybody and welcome back to Marriott's Koi Pond. Not such a bad day today. First one in ages. Uh, this video today, I just wanted to talk about a purchase I made or rather a purchase I ordered at the BKKS Coventry show. Uh, I bumped into Martin from KWPR, he's walking about with a box under his arm. So I inquired as to what it was, he was holding like, and he informed me it was, uh, he'd been into Burton's, Burton's filters, had a stand at the show and he purchased one of these bacterial uh, cultivator machine things, you know. Uh, Anyway, he was standing there chatting away and he produced a leaflet, gave me a leaflet to read and uh, it sort of intrigued me really, not so much because of the bacteria, what it does to bacteria, makes bacteria for your filters to help complete the nitrogen cycle, but I was reading it, I was quite intrigued because they said that it reduces organics in the pond, so it sort of intrigued me anyway, I read this leaflet and I thought, hmm reasonably priced I'll give it a go so went into the uh, Burton stand but Martin had bought the last one unfortunately so <laughs> I had to place an order uh, but anyway it's uh, I placed an order uh, and they said they was expecting a delivery in the, the following week and they would post it out to me which they duly did so thank you Burton's for doing that but I'll just take you in the filter house and we'll talk a little bit more about it. Here we are back in the filter house and uh, this is what I purchased. A Biota Bacterial Activator. Basically I think it's like a glorified thermos flask, you know, keeps it at a certain temperature. Can't see a thermostat or anything on it but I haven't really tried it out yet, so I've just been reading the instructions and everything. Uh, comes with a, a jar of bacteria powder, and there's enough powder in there for 200,000 litres. And there's several different strains of bacteria in there. Obviously helps with the... Uh, nitrogen cycle, matures your filters and other things you know but I thought we'd do an unboxing or rather we won't do an unboxing because I've already unboxed it <laughs> anyway I'll show you what it is there she is there comes with a plug you've got a uh, like an acrylic see-through lid it looks like there's some sort of vent there to vent off condensation got another lid underside of it and you've got a uh, where are we if I can get this out you got like a spoon come spatula sits neatly sits neatly in that lid there which is quite handy. Got another sort of lid, and then inside you got this like a litre, just over a litre, I don't know, bucket if you like. And then inside there, I'm guessing it's like a heating element, and I'm guessing that's a little light to tell you it's on. But anyway, what you do is uh, put a bucket in there like that and you fill it up with 500 millilitres of water. You put in a 25 mil scoop of this powder and that will produce enough bacteria to feed a 10,000 litre pond. I think I've read that right. Then you put another 500 millilitres of water on top of that. Give, oh, sorry, I've gone that wrong. Let's start again. You put 500 millilitres of water in there, a 25 mil scoop of powder in there, if you're making up 
enough solution to feed a uh, 10,000 litre pond. You give that a good old stir, good old mix up. Give it a good old whisk. Then you put another 500 litres of water on top. And then you don't stir that, you just leave that. You put the lid on. Like that. And then you put your acrylic lid on like that, plug it in, leave it for 24 hours, switch it off, let it cool naturally, and then disperse it into your pond. Uh, like two thirds of it will, you'll disperse it round the edges of your pond, and uh, the last third you'd put into your into your filters. You know whether it's a moving bed, static, or whatever. But I thought I'd give it a go. But anyway, but I think I found a fundamental flaw with this. I think I have. I wasn't looking for one, but it just struck me straight away as not being right. Uh, when you read the instructions, I mean, this machine is made in the Netherlands, you know, Denmark, I'm guessing, and uh, the sort of instructions are sort of be in a little bit of broken English. But I found something that doesn't sit right with me really. It says here, uh, fill the cup half 500 millilitres with lukewarm 30 degrees C. Use tap water. Add one scoop, add one scoop of 25 mil while stirring, blah, blah, blah. Then it says top up the cup with lukewarm water to a thousand millimetres, so that's one litre of water in total. But it's only to use tap water. Now, I don't know, I mean that just, that just does not seem right to me. Uh, you know, with tap water, you've got chlorine and chloramines in the tap water designed to kill bacteria, you know, it's a disinfectant. So, how are you supposed to grow bacteria in tap water is beyond me, I, I mean I'm not a scientist, don't pretend to be one, but it just, I just picked that up straight away, it just seemed very odd, tap water, you know, I've got a big blue here and it cost me like a ridiculous amount for catalytic carbon to take the chloramines out of the water because the fish hate chloramines, so does the filter bed and so does the RO system. I'm guessing with chlorine, I don't know, again, I'm not a scientist, I'm guessing that maybe as that warms up, the chlorine might gas off, who knows, you know, because chlorine is a gas, basically, but if it's chloramines in your tap water, then that's in your tap water, that's there permanently for life, unless you remove it, and the only way to remove it really is through a chemical process. So that just struck me as not being right, tap water. But to get round that, I shall use the outlet of me big blue. I'll take water out of the outlet of me big blue. So in theory, it shouldn't have any chlorine or chloramines in it. But I thought I'd give it a go. But the reason I purchased it was not necessarily for the bacteria for the nitrogen cycle, uh, but it said in the uh, gubbins, in the information sheet that it reduces organics in the pond so I thought you know what I'm going to give it a go just for that and what I shall do I shall take a reading off my blue lab guardian uh, before I add this bacteria and I shall probably I don't know add it for once a week for probably a month and I shall monitor the blue lab guardian and see if that TDS reading comes down I mean, if it does, happy days, I'll be well pleased. Just to see, that that will tell me that it is removing organics from the, from the pond water. I can't think of any other way of testing whether your bacteria for your nitrogen cycle work, is working. But I thought I'd give it a go, it's a reasonable price. Uh, they do do... There is several other 
well I say several other, there's two or three other different pots you can buy of different powders that does different things and I have to sit down and have a study but I thought I'd make this video because that just struck me as very very wrong very counterintuitive telling you to use tap water to grow bacteria just doesn't make sense to me but what do I know but anyway yeah thank you for watching uh, if you did find it interesting please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already and like I say this come from Burton's but I have been on the internet I've googled it and Elite Koi up in Grimsby they also sell it as well if you get stuck well thank you for watching everybody and I'll catch you next time bye